So, just a quick update for the actual video. Um, I have not received a response yet from Jock's Knife. So, if you uh, happen to be watching this, you know, by all means, comment, like, subscribe on this video. Appreciate the support. And then hop on over to Instagram and give me a message on at Kyle J Landfear with an underscore between the Kyle, the J, and the Landfear. And send me your billing address or billing address, your mailing address, so I can send you your free knife. So, uh, yeah, do that, please. Love you. Enjoy the video. Take care, everybody. How you doing today, folks? So today I have a review for you of the Tops Rapid Strike. Um, normally my reviews tend to be between three to five months in the making. Um, I have, however, carried this knife every single day for the last about a month. Um, I've used it, I've abused it, I've pried with it, which is never a good idea, but it, you know, it worked out well. Um, and I love this thing. So I definitely want to, uh, you know, throw this review out there, try to give Tops a little bit of credit and uh, get this piece out here. So this is a 4.1 inch piece of 154 cm steel. It's about nine inches overall. Um, I actually do not know the specifications to be clear, but that's my estimation. Um, it has this G10, possibly micarta. Uh, I think it's G10 though, just the way it looks. Um, a handle, but it's it's very nice, very ergonomic. Um, even being as small as it is, you know, I have these big old hands. It it goes in. Um, it's just long enough that it pops out just a little bit here. Um, again, if I want to hold it to be comfortable, it's going to be below the the pinky, but um, you know, definitely works. Uh, this jimping right here is very aggressive. This genuinely will hurt your finger if you hold it for long periods of time, but uh, you know, I don't. Um, also, this is a primarily a combat knife. Um, I use it as a, just a basic EDC to cut stuff up with, but um, you know, if you worry about this going anywhere. This jimping is so severe, like, you're not going anywhere. I just left that in my finger almost immediately. Um, it has this very nice sheath. You know, this whole package is very thin. So this is very concealable. Um, I do actually conceal carry this. I try just carrying it on my waistband, and I got just crazy looks everywhere because I live in California, and it's a, you know, it's a fixed blade. Um, so I have actually started concealed carrying this in my waistband, um, which is surprisingly comfortable. Um, it definitely will poke you when you sit down, but uh, it's not anything really bad. You can definitely adjust to it pretty quickly. Um, it completely disappears. Um, there's no printing at all um, when you just walk around day to day. I've been wearing this every day for work, for you know, just re regular recreational stuff, like just all the time. I'm using and using and using it. <laughs> So as you can see, definitely has some wear and tear on the little finish here. Um, I've resharpened this four times. Um, again, it's 154 cm steel, so it is not the most uh, you know edge retentive steel out there, but it's very easy to sharpen. Um, this is about maybe maybe three to five minutes, including the stropping um, to sharpen. So it, it's not bad at all. Um, I also don't get it to where it's dull. So, you know, basically if you maintain your blade, it'll last a lot longer than if you just uh, beat it till it's chipped and rolled and destroyed and then sharpen it, then it's a pain in the ass no matter what. But for maintenance, this, this piece is very easy to maintain. Um, this is a double edge. It has this weird kind of grind to it. Um, this is not sharp. It's not dull either, but it's like, you know, I can do this and not cut myself. Um, but if you put enough force to it, it will definitely cut you. <laughs> Uh, this is very sharp. Now I got this down to a pretty fine bevel, um, but uh, I, I really, you know, th this knife surprised me. So I'm not really a fixed blade person, despite the fact that I'm about to roll in several fixed blade size comparisons that I mainly just have for uh, kind of utilitarian purposes. Um, I do go camping every now and again, so this stuff does come in handy. Um, this is my Bradford uh, 4.5 and CPM 3D amazing knife absolutely love it this is a 1095 tops cut 4.0 it's a four inch knife and here is the big daddy that i have used quite a bit i've actually re-dlc coated that so it's not quite as uniform as you get it from the factory but it's uh it's better than the scraped up thing that i did have um so you know a size comparison it's, it's a very thin knife. It's not a lot. It's decently long. It's 
definitely long enough to deal with cutting tasks or whatever. If you are looking for a self-defense roll, this will go in something very quickly um, and pretty damn deep. Again, I am not a uh, operator. I'm also not a mall ninja because if you, you know, are carrying something like this for self-defense, chances are you're a mall ninja or you're an extremely trained man that doesn't really, or woman, extremely trained individual that doesn't really need a knife for self-defense in the first place, but it might be a last ditch effort, maybe something you just carry on you to just be safe. Uh, but either way, uh, this is very, very effective um, in terms of the rapid strike capabilities. It would definitely do some serious damage. Um, I have practiced this a little bit. Um, I do practice martial arts and several other different types of uh, disciplines. Um, and I have carried this while performing said actions and had no issues. Um, I've also did, did puncture tests and a few other different things and it goes through just fine. Um, the tip did slightly roll. I fixed it for the most part. You can see there's just a little slight the camera will focus, just a slight flat piece at the end. Um, I wasn't able to get it completely convexed again, but it's pretty close. But uh, I do want to make mention that was going through something that's way, way tougher than flesh. Um, so it definitely is, uh, by all means, good to go. Uh, sorry, a little brain fart there. I'm also going to compare this to my current favorite knife, the uh, TRM Atom. So as you can see, it's not really a small knife. It's also not really a big one. See, even compared to the Atom, which is a relatively easy EDC friendly knife, it's just very, very thin. The handle's very thin, like it's uh, it's designed to be concealable. And for that end, it works amazingly well. Um, but again, for just regular EDC tasks, I absolutely love this knife. Um, I carry this TRM Atom in a slip on my waistband. And more often than not, I pull out the Raptor Strike. Now, uh, because of the nature of it, I do tend to kind of not do it in public if I can avoid it. Or if I need to cut something, I will uh, pull it out real fast, slice it, and put it back in real fast because I don't really want to scare anybody. So definitely if you're in a place that's not really comfortable with people having fixed blades or you know these absolute weapons, uh, I would definitely advise you to be careful. There's also some raffle thing going on across the street from my house. So if you hear random kind of muffled voices or music, I do apologize. There's some little get together thing going on. But anyways, um, no, I would definitely advise you to be careful, um, possibly take the same precautions I am, just, you know, I'm not really flaunting it, bragging it, um, not showing it to people really, just uh, just use it real quick and put it back away. But, um, man, uh, I love this knife. You know, the edge geometry is great, it slices really well, it punctures really well, it's, uh, again, very concealable. Even if you're not trying to conceal it, it's just so thin and easy to carry that I mean, even, like, again, I'm not a skinny person. I'm not really chubby either. It's kind of the middle ground. But I do have enough there to when I put it in my waistband, it'll slightly poke into my stomach. Um, and it's uh, it's not even, doesn't even bother me. So you just, just imagine that. If you actually carry that to where it's not going to be tucked in your in your actual waistband, um, like, it just disappears. It's 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 so comfortable to carry. Um, again, I walk around with it all day. I feel nothing. There's no discomfort there. I forget that I have it on. When I sit down slight discomfort but again we're talking very very slight uh this knife is absolutely wonderful uh, if i had to give this an overall rating score um probably about a 75 um so 7.5 now i'm gonna do that for a couple different reasons um first off 154 cm is not the ideal seal for most people i love it but this is primarily something that's going to be you know for everybody not just myself um the heat treat is just kind of okay uh, the heat treat for tops on the uh, their 1095 is amazing. I've used it many, many times, um, and it, this just isn't quite there. Uh, it does roll fairly easily, um, but again, it's easy to fix, so it isn't really a problem, but it's definitely an issue that needs to be addressed. Um, this jimping, again, is so aggressive that even I'm not really pressing that hard at all, um, and it will, again, leave an immediate imprint in my finger. Um, so this is just, it's just too aggressive. Um, it should be narrower. You know, these, whenever you're talking about jumping that has these kind of big wide gaps to it, it's going to immediately, immediately lead to a hot spot. You know, it's not comfortable at all. Um, it does work. It's functional in terms of keeping the, your hand on the knife, 
but uh, it's just a little bit too excessive for what it is. And even for being the whole like kind of self-defense type thing, there's better ways to do it. Um, also, as for this whole piece right here, uh, these kind of stick into your hand. Now, this might be just an issue with mine because I've seen other people not, you know, nobody else seems to talk about this, but these pieces pinch. It's not a bad thing by any means, um, but it is definitely something that needs to be mentioned. Um, so while the handle is very nice and ergonomic and everything works well, um, if you kind of choke into it or you do any type of real movements, uh, your fingers will get these little grooves and you will totally pinch yourself. Again, I can hear people talking in the background, so I'm, I'm sorry about that. There's some guy on the loudspeaker. Um, there's also this little thing right here, which makes it, you know, when it does poke into you, it, it really sucks. You know, just a glass break here, kind of a skull crusher, pommel thing. Um, but uh, I wish this wasn't here. I mean, I understand why it's here for the purpose of the whole self-defense thing with this knife is. But again, like this, this thing sucks. Um, now, as for the positives to it, again, the edge geometry is very nice. The handle is very nice. It does pinch occasionally, but it fits very well, for, despite the fact of it being so small. It's very consumable. It's very enjoyable. It's little kind of orange-ish red liners are very nice. Um, I do want you to keep in mind, though, that on the actual Topps website, these liners are red. They are very clearly red. Um, this is orange. It's like an orangey type of red. Um, there's some type of photo editing involved that made it you know, not accurate. So be aware the liners are not the uh, kind of bright, deepish red um, that they are in the pictures. They are orange, they're orangey red. But uh, yeah, as you can see, the scales have a little bit of damage to them. Again, they have been carried, they have been used. They've kind of been abused, honestly, in the last couple of months or a couple of weeks. Uh, but this thing has absolutely continued to work and perform wonderfully. So 7.5, while not being the highest of reviews, I do want to make this very clear. This is a great knife. Um, it's not perfect, which is why I got 7.5, but you know, good to me is probably a 60 to 65. Um, great is between 70 to 85, and again, perfect, which is that unicorn, which, you know, spoiler alert, so far, the TRM Atom is that unicorn. I have no complaints at all about this knife. But anyways, um, for the most part, that unicorn doesn't exist. Um, they're out there, but they're very few and far between. This does not qualify, but it is still a great knife, which is by all means worth your purchase. Um, just again, keep in mind that the caveats of, again, where you live um, is something like this legal in your area. Technically, the way I carry it is illegal. Um, if I were to carry it outside of my waistband, you know, non-issue, but inside, uh, this is, you know, again, this is a, uh, this is illegal. But Again, it's kind of have to just deal with the whole caveats of it all. Um, I am a law-abiding citizen. I don't really cause problems. I'm not commonly going to get searched or anything like that. So I don't really see this as an issue. Uh, but if, um, for example, if you ever get frisked or whatever, you might want to let the officer know immediately that you're carrying a concealed weapon because that's kind of a serious thing. Um, if you are in an area to where this is okay, then by all means, go for it. Or again, carry it outside of your pants. Um, technically speaking, I'll recommend you carry it on your belt. Um, but uh, if you don't, that's, that's kind of up to you. A um, little bit of a mention of the sheath. It comes with a very nice Kydex sheath. Clips in very well. The retention is absolutely wonderful. Uh, you can either thread your belt through this piece right here. Um, or again, you can take the actual clip as I hit my camera um, and slide it in that way. Again, this does go into my actual pants itself. So I will take this piece and it'll go into my actual pants over my actual belt as well. And then kind of be concealed and sit here like this, slide it to the side so I can easily access it. Uh, the sheath is wonderful. I genuinely have no complaints at all about the sheath. Uh, little pro tip for anybody though, dealing with Kydex, um, don't just yank it out. You can by all means do that with no issues for the most part, but occasionally you will stab yourself. So don't just reach in, take your thumb, a little bit of pressure, pop it straight out, pull it. Uh, my buddy Joel told me about that one and, uh, yeah, <laughs> something I already knew, but he just mentioned, he knows people that have literally stabbed themselves before so you know maybe it's worth mentioning again um so as always 
thank you all for your time, um, your subscriptions, your, your comments, everything else. This channel's been going wonderfully, been growing on a constant basis. Um, I am through the absolute moon. Um, I just did a giveaway for my 100 subscriber count. Be having to do one for my 200 subscriber count pretty soon here because I'm already getting up there. Um, I really just can't stress enough just how much I love this community. Uh, I have a friend of mine named Jay who messages me almost every single day, uh, probably maybe two or three times a week, um, asking me questions or whatever. Um, I do encourage anybody that has any type of questions, comments, concerns to get in contact with me. My Instagram is Kyle J. Lanfear, um, with an underscore between the Kyle, the J, and the Lanfear. You can, by all means, hit me up on there. If, something, if there's something here you're interested in um, to trade, buy, sell, whatever the case may be, um, chances are we, we can make a deal. Uh, I also just genuinely and truly love this community. I like talking shop with you guys. And you, you know, uh, for, for example, someone was asking a question about how, how to click clean my, my Carta. You know, I did a whole bunch of research and found that out for you. Um, just, you know, I just enjoy talking to you guys. So by all, by all, by all means, uh, hit me up on there. Um, I can't talk right now. Excuse me for that little stuttering fit. Um, so by all means, feel free to hit me up on there. I will by all means respond. I'm also on the Best Name Agency Discord. Um, if you, link will be on the uh, Best Name Agency channel. It's, again, it's not my personal Discord. I do have a Discord, but uh, never really on it. You know, the Best Name Agency thing has kind of become my family. So, um, but I'm rambling a little bit. So as always, I love you all very, very much. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, please just do me a favor and be kind to one another. You know, just a random moment of kindness one day will, you know, it'll it'll follow you. I mean, I really can't stress that enough, man. Um, just be kind to one another. Love each other. This life is too short, full of too many assholes. Don't add to the problem. Just, just be good. As always, take care. And for like the fourth time in this video, I love you all. Bye.